We are making a peach galette, which is basically just a lazy person's version of a pie, which is not a bad thing. I also think it does have the best ratio between crust and filling. I don't like a pie that's oozing with filling. Throw them all into a bowl. Tell me if I look like Jodie Comer. I'll put her somewhere here. She's Villanelle on Killing Eve. I've only heard this on TikTok that I look like her. Two to peaches, we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. I always do a little bit less, especially if your peaches are sweet. And two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. About one teaspoon of cinnamon. It also calls for allspice and nutmeg, which I don't love, so I might add just a little sprinkle. Nutmeg. Don't forget one teaspoon of vanilla and the juice from half a lemon. Oh, shoot. Like four or five seeds just went in there. You know what? I don't know, when you cook a seed, does it get softer at least? Now I was supposed to make the crust first and then refrigerate it for at least an hour, but uh, I just needed to commit to something small and then I'll make the jump for the crust. So crust next. One and three fourths cup all purpose flour. And then three fourths cup of unsalted cold butter. And a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Pulse this for about a minute or so and then grab some ice cold water. A fourth a cup. While this is going, add in the water till it forms a ball. Wrap this in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least an hour. One hour later, I'm gonna try to make it pretty. Fold over the edges, an egg wash for the outside, turbinado sugar, and we're baking 375 for 45 to 50 minutes. Oh my. And the bottom's not soggy. Mm, 